Peatlands are really important habitats. They've been misused and degraded and they're a huge carbon store and they've got really unique associated species here. So sphagnum is a really important um, plant that you find in peat bogs. I think there's about 11 recorded on site uh, and we've used a local nursery who's provided us uh, locally sourced and sustainably sourced sphagnum. In the South Wales uplands above the Rhonda and Afan valleys, the Lost Peatlands project is coordinating a 250 hectare ecosystem restoration. Ecosulis is collaborating on this project with a local nursery, Celtic Wildflowers Limited to restore a small parcel of this wider landscape. I'm Neil, I'm the nature recovery lead at Ecosulis, and we're here in Wales as part of the Lost Peatland project. Um, so as you can see, there's quite a lot of plantation here that's been planted up on top of the peat. So part of this restoration project is when they're removing the timber crop, they're looking to restore the peat that was underneath it. So we're clearing some of the existing grass and millennia that's taken over while the, uh, while the peat was drier. We're taking uh, hummocks of it, uh, of the sphagnum, and we're splitting those in, into individual um, fingers, individual handfuls, uh, and you can see some of that being planted on site. What we've done is we're using a dibber and a metal bar to help um, break through the surface uh, and, and get down to that water layer so that we can get the roots and tendrils of the, uh, of the sphagnum right down into the water so they're able to, uh, to continue to grow. So we're going to come back and we're going to monitor these areas. So we've been marking them out with their, um, with their grid references and monitoring the, the previous sphagnum spread uh, percentage of cover. And it's going to be really interesting to see how this develops over time. Given um, good growing conditions, the sphagnum should potentially be doubling in size per year. Um, so we've planted them generally about 30 centimetres apart uh, and would be yeah, really interesting to track that and see how well they establish, but that will be dependent on how wet the ground stays and the quality of the growing season. Uh, it was previously uh, forested and it suffered with burning um, in the last half a century. I think it's burned twice the crop. Uh, I think it's, uh, it didn't take off brilliantly just due to sort of being planted on peat as well. Um, but yeah, prior to that, it had been drained quite heavily to yeah. allow the trees to go on and, and sort of grow. They didn't grow too well on this site, so when we started, it was pretty much as we can sort of see it. Um, it's millennia dominated, so mm -hmm. just purple more grass covered it. We sort of came in with excavators to block up the drainage channels, but we we're just trying to keep the water up here, essentially. So that was done through uh, ditch blocking. Um, we also carried out ground smoothing or cross tracking as well, which is basically driving the excavator back and forth just to level out the uh, playing field, so to speak, mm -hmm. um, to allow sort of a quicker recolonization of sphagnum. 